Hi everybody, Peter of England. Since the first webinar that we conducted on the topics of what's called Escape the Trap, as the um, playlist shows uh, on this YouTube channel, the first webinar was on the February the 23rd, the second webinar was on March the 23rd, and so the next one is scheduled for April the 23rd. So this is a small announcement just to say that that might get delayed slightly, and I'm looking to hold this next webinar for all those people that are interested and the many that came on before for both February uh, and March. Uh, it's going to be probably the first week in May. So that's the schedule. And the reason for the slight delay is because I am preparing something of quite staggeringly uh, important um, proportions that is a sequel or an appendage to the documents that we discussed on those webinars. And those webinars uh, discussed primarily two documents. One is the Lazarus Taxon, which is available on the removement.net website. And the other one that we discussed is this one called Sacrament, Sworn Affidavit Creating Reborn Men's Trusts. So the significance of those two documents that are the bedrock of what we are trying to portray to you now going forward, or I am trying to portray to you going forward, um, it is a method in and of itself to give you three prime uh, um, objectives. One is to give you some power. One is to give you a purpose and then the other one is to give you protection. So don't look at these documents as being just, um, should we say, uh, educational, um, superficial, or meaningless academic writings that have just been done so uh, I can populate product onto uh, a, a web shop. They are anything but that. These are the main documents that you need to understand or at least have read before we go to the next cycle. The next cycle is going to be an advancement on the Weir Bank check facility that has been running now for over eight years uh, because what I wish to do now is to project or pass on to you something a little bit more um, uh, uh, relevant in today's economic war field or battlefield that it's becoming tighter and it's becoming more obvious that there is a larger game uh, afoot or there's a bigger plan. So what I'd like to say as to why these two documents, the Lazarus Taxon, or the to head off what's called the creditor de Santort, that's the false creditor that are trying to drive you into the ground, and the sacrament document, which portrays the, the background knowledge that you need in order to play this game through. Um, it's establishing the fact and giving you parameters, which I don't think are anywhere else to be found on the, on the web in this format. Um, that you are being played, you are in what's called a formula film, a Hollywood formula film with a beginning and a middle and an end and a goodie and a baddie and oppo sames that are all playing for a happy ending that never really comes. So for the scenario that is facing you in this real world post-pandemic, um, post-Klaus Schwab's reset program, um, isn't one that involves John Wayne turning up at the fort or the cavalry arriving just in time to defend you or save you from the Indians. That isn't going to happen. So why I say that is there's many distractions flowing through the networks now. So as you can all see, whether it is Labour or Conservative or SNP in the UK, whether it is the, um, the Democrats or the Republicans in the United States, what you can see is they're all on the same side. There is no rule of law. It's all been a trick for many centuries. And it's only now that Lucifer is taking his hood off, metaphorically, 
and showing exactly what is happening. And so what we have is a, a sequence of things that are necessary now after all your uh, work energy has been stolen from you systematically this century or the past century and going into this one in the form of war. War, war, war. If you go back and see that the cycle of war is almost never finished, uh, you will understand the importance of war for the ruling political classes and the monarchy and the people who make money. They make money off you. What is different in this particular case is since 1933, really, there is no money in the world anymore. The only thing that you can do to eradicate a so-called debt is to discharge it. You can't pay it off because there is no lawful money. There is no gold and silver. All you can do now is having been forced from the private side into the public side, you can only discharge with fractional reserve notes issued by the central bankers who pay for the governments, not the other way around. So when this credit, when this uh, checkbook money, when this uh, false uh, negative capacitance charged into the system reaches a point where it cannot be sustained any longer, what has to be done, and the Rothschilds and the Warburgs have found this out much to their profit over the years, that negative capacitance in the circuit has to be discharged. And how do they discharge it? Through inflation and taxes, but then inevitably war. War is the equivalent of someone who's losing at the card game, tipping the table up when all the chips, the money, the cards get thrown onto the ground and in the confusion, everything gets reset. And this is where Mr. Schwab and his cronies are heading now with this inflationary banking crisis reset. And my prediction is that the next major bank to fail probably will be in Europe and it will probably be Deutsche Bank. But that being a part, this is where we're heading. We've got war on the door, war in 24 probably, as my previous videos have, have, have outlined. The previous time that nuclear weapons, apart from Hiroshima and Nagasaki, were let off on this planet was in 20, sorry, 2024 BC uh, in, in, in uh, the Middle East. Um, and so what we've got now is coming up to 2024, an anniversary event. And I think the neocons who are in charge of the agenda with their puppet masters behind them controlling them, this is where they're looking to start this war to destabilize the world with a rationale of bringing in a one world religion, a one world currency uh, and a one world you. Now, for all those people who have uh, taken the schmackzine, then uh, maybe these words uh, are totally irrelevant to you. But for those who haven't, what I'm trying to now suggest to you is we can go to a better place. And this is going to be part of why the Lazarus Taxon and the sacrament documents are important for you to read as individuals or collectively, if you want as a group to go and buy those documents online. Because I am showing you in there the doors that I'm going to suggest we all walk through together. And there is help and there are beings, there are entities that are there waiting and uh, encouraging this passage. Um, almost like the, the exodus of the, the, the Jews from Egypt in the story of, uh, of Moses uh, into the desert passing the Red Sea. So don't forget, above all else, you've got genocide, genocide, genocide not being perpetrated onto a tribal group or onto a racial population on this planet. At the moment, you have a collective genocide being perpetrated onto you by the ruling monarchical political class who are all being taken for fools by those in the background that are encouraging them to sell their own out for pieces of silver or knighthoods or honors or OBEs, etc. And you all know who those people are. So if you look at the definition in the um, um, United, uh, sorry, the Universal Declarations on what is the definition of genocide and the Geneva Conventions, 
you will see that anything that a external class perpetrates to alter the society, the culture, the beliefs, the religions uh, of a group of people, or in any case to impose a voluntary sterilization program by causing, should we say, birth defects or stillbirth or um, menstrual problems in the, 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 the female populations, um, you can see that those definitions are all covered and are all being successfully covered by what's going on now with the LBCGTQ plus ABC agenda with the diversity in everything, with the legitimization of homosexuality. Do we keep children? Do we abort children? Um, what's happening here is there's so much confusion being rained down onto you, you don't know anymore. With the fake news checkers, what's the purpose behind the fake news checkers? Because now they're supposedly checking the fake news for you then to be told whether it's true or not. So hasn't that always been the prerogative of the human being that he decides himself what's true, what's not true? Now that's gone. What you have is a global agenda which is already on the table and it is a Russian, Soviet-style, Chinese Communist Party, North Korean-based, tyrannical, criminal, regime with its boot on your face stomping forever, as George Orwell said. So that's here now. It looks like it's not quite here, but I assure you it is. And with your tacit approval by, by consent, by not opposing it in any way, um, you are in effect agreeing to it. So this is the collective dystopian hypnotic nightmare that you are all wrapped in at the moment. And if you can't see it, then you really need to try. And for those people who do see it, it really is time to get off your ass and do something about it other than just communicating on Twitter or Instagram or TikTok or WhatsApp by doing all this bullshit. Um, you know, it, that's what it's there to do, to make you feel as if you've agreed or bought in, but you're being brought in by, uh, you're buying into it by proxy. It's sort of like, well, I don't have to do anything now. Of course I agree. Someone else will do it. So it is a, uh, it's ordo ab cow, as the Freemasonic motto says, order from chaos and diversity is not unity. And if God or the creator, or the central intelligence behind the universe is unity, then what is diversity? What is separation? What is difference? What is being something different? Whether it's lesbian, bi, trans, black, white, doesn't matter. It's diversity is separation. Diversity is the opposite of God, therefore it is Luciferian. It is satanic. So anything that preaches a bipolarization and then a continuing, continuing bipolarization is leading you away from unity, away from home, not back home. And so what I'm here to do is make no bones about it to take you the other way. And if you want to join, then I suggest you begin to get on board and let us try and make a movement together that can uh, expand and can start to create what we need to create. There is time. There isn't much time. I might be wrong, but you've got to break free from the, 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 the public media, the distractions, the same thing going on now with Donald Trump and the Stormy Daniels that happened 23 years ago with Bill Clinton. You know, there's this, this moral puritanism in the United States where they don't mind having uh, tranny queers um, twerking in front of six-year-olds in the school classroom, but at the same time, two consenting adults supposedly having sex is a major controversy. It's just off the scale bizarre. Um, so with Clinton, it was Monica Lewinsky. It took up a big period, nearly two years of, of investigation by Ken Starr as a special prosecutor. So this is the, 
this is the, the, the scenario that we have. Uh, and it is no coincidence what they do. Look at the time when the uh, roundabout was it April the 11th. Um, they put this arrest warrant out or threatening to arrest Donald Trump and make an indictment against him. At the same time, the World, uh, World Court of Justice put out a, a warrant for the arrest of, of Vladimir Putin. Are you crazy? I mean, isn't it just a repeat of the of the Russian dossier that was, you know, pushed around Washington uh, for, for God knows four years against Trump before? So these coincidences aren't coincidences. They're just rolled out there to make you look helpless, stupid. And the overriding message behind these prosecutions for someone like Donald Trump being shown to you uh, is to make you even more helpless, more powerless, more uh, that everything's futile and all hope is gone. Because the underlying message is, oh, wow, he's a multi-billionaire. He's connected. He was the president of the United States. He must know everything. Well, if that's the case, then how can they do that? If they can do it to him, what can they do to pretty old me? The other very important thing is there is no rule of law across the planet. There is no justice. Every single nation on the planet that pretends to be good cop or bad cop against the United States or the NATO powers or the UN is simply not. They all joined in the club and the bankers made sure that they did join in that club in 1944 with Bretton Woods. And the IMF then became the central clearing mechanism. So it is no coincidence now that uh, Modi, the president of India, is shaking hands and nice and buddy buddy with President Z X one Roman numerals eleven with Vladimir Putin. So that that triune of truth there that they're passing themselves off as now um, are making alliances with the Saudis who are making alliances with the North Koreans, which are making alliances now with the Iranians. And so, can't you see what's happening? The, the block now that is going to be victorious after all the NATO countries have plowed all their money and their armaments into Ukraine, and as they go into Ukraine in the front door, they're going out of Ukraine and the back door to places like Afghanistan, to places like Iran, to places wherever else they're needed. And so when the push comes to shove, when they go for this war, I can see it being finished pretty quickly after uh, maybe a false flag nuclear event, which could either be CGI, computer generated imagery, a bit like happened in 9-11, or there could be something small but real and enough to get NATO in the best interests of the population of Europe mainly to fold and not have a large confrontation. But synonymously as that's happening, there is going to be problems on the financial field. So this is where I'm saying the Lazarus, the Lazarus taxon document and the sacrament are very vital documents for you now to start reading. Because what I've tried to do there is I've tried to put in a nutshell many, many years of experience and collective intelligence from, um, should we say, societies that don't put their information on, on YouTube or it isn't appearing in National Geographic or Time or The Economist magazine. Um, it's behind the scenes stuff and it's good knowledge and you need to look at it in some form. Because what we're going to do then when we've given you this power, this purpose uh, and, and this protection is we're leading you into a process now of separating yourself from them. Now I know before I've just said, maybe I'm um, uh, contradicting myself, uh, that we don't need to continue separating. But what you need to do in this particular case, the reality is that you need to separate yourself from the boat that's taking you away from unity. You need to cut the cord and we need to divorce from the state and we need to start going back the other way to centricity. Okay, 
So this is a spiritual hygiene, it's a protection. What I'm also going to do is to unveil very soon, probably sometime after the, 20, the end of April, um, for all those who uh, would like a little bit of uh, knowledge or pre-warning, uh, this is a bit of a teaser or spoiler, go to see the Bills of Exchange Act 1882, section 68, okay? And that is what's called a payer for honor super protest. The next level with We Are Bank, its intervention for you is going to be based around something coming in and volunteering to pay on your behalf. And if that isn't the best news that you've heard in 2023 or in the past 23 years, then I don't know what is. It's fairly tough, it's very factual, it's legal, and it's something that the banks will not know how to handle initially. So that might be the little part of the pushback, but it is, it is um, uh, waterproof. So what we're going to do then after that, so uh, Lazarus, Sacrament, read them, digest them, then look for the next uh, video, which I'm going to make on this uh, Section 68 of the Bills of Exchange Act 1882. Please look up the equivalent in your country. If you're in a Commonwealth region, then it's very invariably the same as the UK law, which went into international um, law. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to take you somewhere. I'll leave this hanging now. Most of you who are reading or watching this type of material will have heard of something called Area 51. Have you not? Well, there is somewhere called Area 52 on this planet, which is beyond all jurisdiction of any sovereign state that you might think of. And this is where, if you will come with me on this journey, where I'm proposing to take you um, and show you how to have independence, a new form of existence, and an ability to walk the planet with unfettered tread. That means you will not need their identity. You need no need to worry about their face scanning. You will no longer need to worry about their lockdowns. You will be under no laws of theirs whatsoever, only the laws of God. And as long as God walks with me on this, I'll deliver it to you. Peter of England saying, thank you. Notifications, subscriptions, and all that stuff, if you can be bothered, and I'd like you to be. So thank you, the new next video will be on the, on the YouTube within, within a, a couple of weeks. Thank you.